I'm Rachel from Mrs. Rachel Brady. Mrs. Rachel Brady is a blog, a YouTube channel, and even now a book club. And it's all about family, loads and loads of food, um, home and style. I'm just a normal stay at home, work at home mum. I have two kids. My son Arthur is just eight. My daughter Beatrix is soon to be six. And I have another baby on the way due in about 10 weeks. Today's video is all about slow cooker recipes. I used to think that you had to prep um, and kind of brown off meat and onions and things like that before you put things into the slow cooker. Today's video is all about the dump and go. What I mean by dump and go is that you just slosh it all in, little stir, turn it on, and seven hours later, you have got an incredible, gorgeous family meal. Detailed recipes are down below in the description box, so don't worry about that. So my first dump and go slow cooker recipe is a classic, spaghetti bolognese. So for my slow cooker spag bowl, you're going to need some minced beef, some diced carrots, diced onion, finely diced garlic, a can of plum tomatoes, I don't even buy chopped ones, I always buy plum ones, they're better quality, a little beef uh, jelly, a beef stock jelly, uh, some salt and pepper, some tomato puree. Literally guys, wang it all in the slow cooker, give it a little stir. I always rinse my tin of tomatoes out with a little bit of water and then I pop the lid on, on low, six or seven hours. You will be rewarded with the most lovely uh, spaghetti bolognese. All I did was cook some spaghetti, obviously, and chuck it in the dish. Went down an absolute treat, serve it with parmesan and a really nice salad. We really like chili in our house and when the kids were very young I thought of a clever way of making chili so that it's not spicy. So my next recipe is a venison chili. So I used venison in this recipe, of course use beef if that's what you would prefer to use. So as it's a slow cook dish uh, you'll need some kind of chuck steak if you're using beef. I used venison as I say, venison steak. Guys you're going to need diced onion, diced carrot, finely diced garlic, a can of plum tomatoes again, a beef stock jelly uh, again, and also a can of ki red kidney beans undrained. I always use my kidney beans with the, with the water still in there as well because it's nice and thick and it's got flavour. My secret ingredient for that smoky chilli flavour is paprika and cumin. Chuck it all in the slow cooker, turn it on to low, oh don't forget to give it a little stir, lid on and you're good to go in about six or seven hours. I think on this occasion we served it as is but because it's such a great one pot dish with the beans and the meat and the vegetables. However, of course, classic things to serve with the chilli, jacket potatoes, you could quickly do them in the microwave. Um, or I love like instant brown rice in a microwave pouch, they're amazing, we, we go through a lot of those, that's lovely with this. You could put some sour cream or Greek yogurt on the top. On this occasion I had some of my favourite jalapenos for the adults and uh, some, some coriander as well and of course some nice mature grated cheddar. Guys, my next dump and go slow cooker recipe is a really, really delicious soup. Perfect for a weekday tea time with the kids. All you need is a hunk of bread to make it into a meal. Packed full of veg, you've got your butternut squash, you've got your sweet potato, you've got your celery, carrot, onion, garlic and ginger in there as well. And of course some seasoning, um, a nice quality veg stock or chicken stock if you're not vegetarian. And I added as well for a bit of background flavour some cinnamon and some ground cumin. Again guys, lid on, you don't even have to stir this one, it's so easy. Um, on to low and in six or seven hours you will have the nicest soup. Of course it needs a good whiz. So I whizzed with my hand blender and served it with some Greek yogurt, some fresh red chilies and a drizzle of good olive oil. You could crumble Stilton into this, you could crumble smoky crispy bacon bits over the top of this. It's a really nice sweet soup, the ginger isn't too overpowering and kids tend to really like it because it's so sweet. My next slow cooker sling and go recipe, yeah maybe sling and go is better than dump and go. I don't know, uh, is ribs. Oh, who doesn't like sticky, sweet rib? All you're gonna do is toss in your pork ribs into the slow cooker, buy a bottle of barbecue sauce, and just wang it straight in. When you come back from work or your day out, you are rewarded with the most delicious uh, meat falling from the bone, sticky, sweet rib. We actually had it alongside some sausages and some salad because it was so hot. Adam really wanted to barbecue, but I already had the slow cooker ribs going. I often serve 
my ribs with again the microwave brown rice and I chuck some frozen peas and some sweet corn in there that's really popular with the kids you could serve it with jacket potatoes some salads or some oven chips the world is your ribby oyster my last recipe to sling and go in the slow cooker is the the best the nicest chicken curry guys I made this the other day for the kids and they absolutely loved it they both went in for seconds and curry isn't something I would definitely say that my kids normally like for this recipe you're going to need chicken thigh fillets and they're going to be chopped into bite-sized pieces you're going to need a diced onion um, some garlic finely diced you will need a can of plum tomatoes, a can of coconut milk. So I would say use full fat because it's got so much nice flavor. Uh, and then you're going to need a good quality curry powder. Oh, and also you will need a handful. So it's about a handful of halved new potatoes. Pop them all in your slow cooker, lid on six or seven hours. And then just before serving, I sprinkled in a really good amount of frozen peas. I also gave it a really good seasoning. So we had this with some brown rice and some coriander on top. And as I say, it went down a complete hit. I think Adam had about four bowls. The kids had two bowls each. It was really, really tasty. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my sling and go, dump and go, slow cooker recipes. What is your favorite dump and go, um, slow cooker go-to? Um, slow cookers are such a great, Thing to have in your kitchen i'll link to the one that i have below it's a really big one use it all the time give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe if you aren't already for lots of family and food home and style content go and check out my blog that's linked to below as well as my book club that's all for now guys bye